Morning, I'm here today in Jean Funnel's studio in Johannesburg. Jean was one of my very first customers when I took over the, the distributorship for Handy Quilter in South Africa. And we've been friends <laughs> and ever since. <laughs> so we thought we'd give you extra information today. Often get questions from customers regarding how to load a quilt. So I love my pins. Um, it just seems to work for me, but there are many other different ways and Jean here has some experience of both the red snappers and the zippers. So I dragged her in, or I dragged myself <laughs> into her studio to help me explain to you. I don't have experience of them, but it doesn't mean that it's not a great way to load your quilts. So Jean's going to help us out and explain to us why she really loves both of these methods for loading a quilt. Firstly, you get the rods, and these rods fit together, they have a screw end, and you just screw the other end, and that forms your rod, which you fit into a channel in your, um, your leaders, and that forms the basis of the system. Next, you get a number of very long uh, snappers, which snap over the rods, when you put it on the machine. You get some half sizes as well. And then we've taken some of the full sizes and cut them down into thirds and into quarters. You also get six little snappers, which is the first thing you put on when you uh, try to anchor your quilt. Okay, these are my leaders. They are homemade leaders and I have made a channel in them and put the rod into the channel. You just feed it into the channel as long as you want. Then you get the center of your quilt and I've got a little marking where my center is and I hold it over there and snap the first one on. When I load my quilt I always bring the leader from the back forward and I mark where the edge of my quilt is and put another one there. I haven't done that for this one. Pretty good. And then when I want to actually snap it, I just snap that on. And this one. Now you could use a long rod here. But I find them a bit difficult to handle. I don't always get it straight. So I like to divide my area with these other little ones. And then I can choose my size of snappers that I want to use. I can move that one over a little bit. You just take them and squeeze. Now I have arthritic hands, so you would think that they hurt, but they don't. And the more you use them, the better they get. So I just put on the size I want, and the size it fits. A little bit of open space is not a bad thing if you want to cut some more little ones. I sometimes use them for the in-betweeners. And then let's get the little one and put it in here. That's it. Loading the back of the quilt, I, load, I like to load at the back instead of stretching all the way at the front to get it loaded and uh, I'll just bring the backing fabric up onto the table, bring my leader down and then I can either use red snappers or pin. So Jean, you call for customers? I do. That keeps you busy most of the week? Most of the week. And do you ever get to call your own stuff? Occasionally at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. 
<laughs> but sometimes at the weekend as well. So you were telling me you've got a nice tip for people who want to be able to quilt their own stuff as well, but they're generally busy with customer quilts? Yes. Okay, tell us more. I like to use my zippers. Because then you have a piece where you can, you can pin your backing on of the piece that you're working on. You can zip it on like this. It's just an open end zipper and you've got your whole piece on. At the end of the weekend you need to get back into it and to do other customer quilts you zip it off and it arrives in exactly the same spot the next time you put it on. So you have a different set of leader cloths basically? I do. Okay, you made them yourself? I do. <laughs> <laughs> And I have two of these little strips that actually fit onto the same zip there. So I can have two quilts. If one gives me a problem and I don't know what to do next, I take it off until I've worked it out and I can put something else on in the meantime. And it's a big time saver. A big time saver. You can actually sit in your chair, your nice comfy chair, and pin the backing on to your leader and just come zip it in. Uh, I do have two, so when this one, the quilt is nearly finished, I take the next one, put it onto the next little leader, zip one off, zip the next one. And can you have the leader cloths on both your poles, so for the bottom edge and the top edge of the backing? You can. It's a bit more difficult to get it um, to load evenly because your zippers may be in just slightly different spaces, so it's a bit of a fiddle to have them both. But it is, it's very achievable. So what do you do? You put your zipper on the back pole and then at the front you use your red snapper. I use my red snappers. Ah, red snapper fan. Yeah. All right. So it's so quick. Mm, quick and easy. Absolutely. I must be honest and say I've never tried it because I thought it was a bit difficult, uh, that it would be a pain, but you obviously don't think so. So quick. And to get that quilt off, dying for that last row to fiction, whip that thing off. The way to go. All sorted. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Jean. I really okay. appreciate your advice. Pleasure. Thank you.